dear Julia, are you surprised that I've addressed this to you and don't think you're dead? Everyone calls you Martha now, right? I know you too well. I can never understand why no one else can ever tell you apart. Not even your own mother and father. Martha is gone and I cannot reconcile myself. <laughs> I'm dying, I thought, but strangely enough, I wasn't afraid. In fact, I was almost relieved. When I returned, I found myself once again in the midst of a bad dream. One whose meaning I did not understand at the time. Oh, um, Martha. Come? Nope. Okay. Martha. I give you back. Your? Your? Appearance. Martha, I give back your appearance. I mean, we, I mean, yes, we, we, well, we got shot, but is this, I mean, obviously this is a dream, however, like, uh, did we actually get rescued? I assume. Now are we gonna let everybody know that we're not Martha? Since this happened? Oh, gosh. Um, now, um, I pay? Nope. Now... Now I see through your nope. Wow. Now I see uh, it makes more sense this way with my now I see with my eyes. What do we see with my eyes, though? She's taking his body. Two sisters were destined to die. Julia, the first sister, and Martha, the second. On Julia's day of departing, identical twins stood before me, impossible to tell apart. They questioned my presence, since they were still so young. Julia must come with me, I demanded. But they both claimed to be Martha. I explained that Martha's fate was soon to be the same, and their games were useless. I didn't have time for it. The war was keeping me busy. But they didn't concede, and instead kept insisting. Can we follow you together? No. Impossible. Are you sure Martha will die too? Nothing is certain in wartime. What if the wrong person went with you? Then you would have cheated death. One would die unjustly, 
and the other would simply be delaying her fate. They discussed amongst themselves, then hugged before one of them came forward. She stared in a determined, almost threatening manner. I guessed it was Martha sacrificing herself, giving more time to her sister. But I stayed silent, not to reveal their failed deception. No one lies to the face of their own death. So I asked how their choice was reached. We do lots by throwing a medallion, she said quietly. They had trusted in fate. Oh, how naive they were. They knew fate plays by its own rules, which is true, but it is also my ally. Fate never would have allowed the wrong girl to follow me. In that case, my work was done. She must have been Julia. However, little to my knowledge at the time, that blasted medallion had the same name engraved on both sides. Martha's. So, my first assumption was correct. They were too damn smart, and had fooled both fate and me. One thing is for sure. I'll put things back where they belong. I will correct my ignorance and give fate back its blindfold. so bad. I can hardly breathe. So we weren't, or Martha, it was us that was supposed to die. That's what I'm taking from the, the Grim Reaper. Um, the burial. Four days after Martha's death. So we were the ones that were supposed to die? Or was that just a dream, the Grim Reaper thing? I don't, I don't really know. I don't really know. So is, is this the day that we get to wear the dress? Yeah. Make sure we do that before I would we like to spend a moment with my sister. Just me and her alone. Before people arrive for the funeral. No, no, no. My bag is not here. My diary. Lapo's letter. Oh, no. People are going to find out. They're going to know. Oh, she how is my daughter? Please, Doctor. Please give me good news. It's a miracle she's alive, Eric, but she will be all right. Okay, so the doctor is here. It passed right by her heart and exited her chest. Unbelievably, it missed her lungs, spine, and heart. She could have been paralyzed or died, but thankfully, she's fine. I examined her thoroughly. She didn't even lose that much blood. She was lucky. And you were lucky, so to speak. She was lucky that my wife went for a walk in the woods. Otherwise... Otherwise she would have bled to death, yes. I don't know what to say. All of this. It's too much. So much death and suffering. Nothing more. Don't worry, Erik. She's young, so she'll recover quickly. I'll be here all day anyway. Thank you, Doctor, for everything. Do you mind coming with me to pick my wife up from the cemetery? The funeral will start soon in the chapel. Of course not. Lead the way. Okay. So we got super lucky. Preparations for the funeral. Irina wants everything to be perfect. It's her way of coping. So she doesn't have to think about everything going on. She is a woman who has suffered so much. Maybe too much. Okay. So, I mean, they shot us in the chest, but missed our heart. We definitely are lucky. There's my bag. Thank there we God. go. All right. I wonder if the letter's in there. And if they found that letter... I Let's mean, hope Lapo's letter is in there. It is. 
Okay. Dear Julia, are you surprised that I've addressed this to you and don't think you're dead? Everyone calls you Martha now, right? I know you too well. I can never understand why no one else can ever tell you apart. Not even your own mother and father. Martha is gone, and I cannot reconcile myself to that fact. I have to stay hidden, and sadly I can't run to you. Even if I would love nothing more than to hold you tight and cry together. No words. I just want to be close to you. Can we meet in the barn tonight? I will try my best to be there around midnight. Don't be alarmed, but if things get ugly, please remember this number. 6934. 6934, that's I knew he was in serious danger, but what about the letter? I had it in my hand when the soldiers ran off. Mummy found me, and if she's read it, well, she hates Lapo, and now she must know who I am. No, no, she probably would have left me there to die. She'd rather have no daughter than the wrong one. Before I passed out, I must have put it back in my bag. There is no other explanation. Unless somebody else was there. Nets for catching butterflies, poor creatures. I had so much fun with them. Okay. Is to be the only reason behind the cowardly act. The New Zealand troops are advancing slowly. When it's not too sunny After outside, the, the 200 Point ISO Point film works well. Okay. Still far from the Tavernelli Val di Pisa. Have we read this before? General Edic K. Yeah. New rules on. Yeah, we've read that already. Okay. Okay. Oh, the music came back on. I was like, what the hell was that? All right. <clears throat> So we want to spend some time with Martha before the the funeral. So we're going to go hang out with her real quick. Oh, that's right. We got to read the newspaper first. We have to, to keep up this ruse. Do we are... Uh... Attempted murder in Laura Mola. After the murder of Julia Kay, today her twin sister is the victim of another attempted murder. The condition of the young girl found by the German troops is no cause for concern. The political motive behind this is becoming all the more clear. But that's not what happened. It's all wrong. Mummy was the one who found me. The German soldiers shot me. I'm best to stay quiet. No one ever believes the truth. I mean, yeah, they're not gonna... I don't know. It's... I mean, leave it, leave it to the news to, to, you know, give you false information, but... How are you going to tell them? I mean, I guess you could write it down since you can't verbalize New anything. New ordinance ban on the use of bicycles. Over the last few days, cyclists have once again shot at members of the Italian armed forces and at civilians in the streets. The offenders will be punished in accordance with German martial law. So no bicycles. Even in Florence, the war is beginning to be felt. Supplies are starting to run out. Bread may only last a few more days. Prices are rising dramatically. Meat can now be found for 100 to 140 lira per kilo. The gas has been cut and there is no coal. Mm. The Battle of Tuscany. German operations in the Livorno area. Extremely violent fighting in the streets of the city. All right. So we've, we've done our deed. Kept up the ruse. I mean, I'm wondering. I pick up the phone but remain silent. If I let the caller speak first, I'll find out who it is. Oh, wait, where is she? Hello? Ma'am? Can you hear me? Is there somebody there? Mr. Eric? Oh, it's the nanny. I can confide in her. But does nanny? she know? Hello? It's does she me. know? What? Hello? Oh, my lord. I must be dreaming or something. No, Nanny, you're not dreaming. It's really me, it's Julia. Oh my god, Julia, my little sparrow, how wonderful. Sorry, but I thought you were dead. I, I saw you lying there dead. This brings me so much joy that, actually, you must explain to me, my little sparrow, what is happening? I mean... I told Nanny everything that had happened. She was sad for Martha, of course, but very happy at the same time. I was the one she had a special bond with. 
I explained to her that I wanted to try and meet the White Lady, even if I knew it was a silly idea. But she didn't think I was a fool, quite the opposite. She explained to me what I should do in an attempt to meet her. It was complicated, I noted everything down carefully in my diary. Who knows, maybe she did it only to keep me occupied, while deciding what to do with me and who to warn. I won't ever know though, because that very same day, a bomb struck the villa and she died. They all died. We should have been in that house ourselves, but instead, poor Nanny. Oh, so... Bye, Nanny. I love you. Goodbye, my darling. I thought I'd lost you. Be careful, my little sparrow. Like, how lucky is that, though? Like, that she f finally told somebody and the same day... Martha was taken to the chapel for her funeral. I want to say goodbye to her alone before everyone arrives. But, like, the bomb goes off and kills her. Like, that's... Can be a coincidence. Wasn't that lit up right there? Or am I just dumb? Must not have been. Okay, so... Oh, we can do this now. I wonder what this is going to tell us, because last time we did this, and it said, like, the loss of a love or something like that, and then Lupo or Lapo died. So... I'm kind of worried about what this is going to do. Hmm... Um, do this one here. The Emperor. The there Hero Fate. darkness that brings uncertainty, but there will be a guide. Something that can teach me something. Is the darkness going to be the White Lady? Okay, so we also have the... Nope, that's not what I wanted at all. We have the diary. July 19th. I retrieved the cameras at the lake, but I had convinced myself that I was the one who had hurt Martha. So much so that when I had the rolls with me on the way home, I found myself in another horrible dream. I don't even remember going to sleep. As soon as I woke up, I developed the film. The photos confirmed to me that my memory of that night was correct. It was a great relief. I have decided to go back to the lake in an attempt to communicate with the White Lady. I know it's a crazy thought, but I can't get it out of my head. I need to know what happened to Martha, so I must pursue every possible avenue, even the path of insanity. So that's what, um, that's what happened in the last episode. We're getting away from this damn radio because that's really annoying me. Okay, now we'll go ahead and read the rest, because there's two other unread pages. Now I know what must be done to meet the lady. Nanny has explained everything to me. I must try to meet her early in the morning when it is foggy, or all will have been in vain. That's what the legend says. This is what I need to do. 1. I must reinvoke her loss by putting her into contact with her lover. To do this, Nanny said to look for his grave in the woods, but there are so many. Daddy always said that infrared photos can see what the naked eye cannot. Maybe then they also see ghosts. There wouldn't be anything strange about that now, considering I'm trying to contact one after all. How crazy. 2. A part of me needs to enter her world. A lock of hair would work, so I'll need scissors to cut some off. 3. I will need an object that connects her world to mine. I don't know what to do for this yet. Hopefully something will come to mind when I least expect it. 4. To communicate with her, I will need to use my tarot cards. I will meet with the lady on the island where her lover was executed. Okay. So I need... Yeah, that's a lot of stuff we're going to need to do. Um, obviously it's not going to be done to today, in-game today. Um, unless we're kind of forced there, but we do need to go to... Um to the church or wherever Martha is. Um, let's take a look. That's not that's not at all what I wanted. Um, 6934. Damn it, I keep hitting the wrong button. So we can actually call... 6... 
nine, three, four. We used to have a phone like this a long time ago. I'm super, super old. Hello? You've called this number. Damn, Lapo must be dead then. Rest in peace, fair comrade. Yes, Lapo is dead. I am due- No, no, don't talk. We don't need to know who you are. By calling this number, it means Lapo wanted you to complete his work. A telephone cable near the house of German General Erich K has to be cut. One goes to the house, but there's another cable we suspect is connected to a secret base. That is the one that has to be cut. If you see any German vehicles around, let us know immediately. We won't use this number anymore. It's dangerous. Use a telegraph. That will be safer. I hope you know how to use them. Otherwise, you'll have to come up with something. This is important. Frequency X. Before the message, telegraph town on fire to identify yourself. Long live the homeland. Long live the liberation. Should I sabotage the cable and become a spy? I don't know. My father is German. <laughs> We're going to do him, it. Even though he himself hates this war. But what happened to Lapo and those guys? If I can save someone's life, maybe I should try. Or maybe I can talk to Daddy about it. He may be able to advise me on what to do. I don't even know the first thing about all this. What were you thinking, Lapo? Oh, what should we do? If we reveal the plans to our dad, then he's going to know that we're not Martha. But if we help the partisans, we can keep it a secret. Hmm. I don't know what to do. I'm sure this is going to have implications to the end of the game, too. Um, boy. We're gonna help to him. Cut the cable. I will need sharp scissors. Taylor scissors should be fine. I wonder if we can find that in here. Maybe. Maybe we can find the bicycle pump in there too. There's that damn bird that killed the little guy. You jerk. Senor Peckerhead. That's where she's at. Oh, I thought we had to like go on the bicycle somewhere to like get to it. I didn't realize it was gonna be right here. Poor little one. He's dead. Poor little guy. His place is by Martha's side. Are we gonna pick it up? I don't wanna pick it up, it's gross. Just Nanny always calls me little sparrow. This is the part of me that died with Martha. It'll be safe next to her. What, you're gonna put this in the I mean, I, I, that's not really gross, I guess. It's hey, just Martha, everybody's dead. This is my heart. Carry it with you. I'm starting to understand how painful your condition must have been. Not being able to properly communicate with anyone is becoming increasingly difficult. I envied you, but I did not see your suffering. I did not understand your courage. I miss you so much, Martha. I'm not worthy to dress in your clothes. I mean... <sighs> There's only a few signatures from my funeral. If people had known that it was actually Martha, there would have been far more. I'm sorry that I took this from you too. Ah, oh, man, that's... kicking the nuts right there. Like, only just a couple people at your own funeral. That'd be rough. Commune of San Casciano. Province of Florence. Death Certificate. From the Register of Death Certificates of this Commune, number 174, Part 3, Series 12 of the year 1944. It is certified that on the day of the 16th of July of the year 1944, Julia Kay has died, resident of Via Perchabaya, born in La Romola. On the 26th of February 1923, the daughter of General Erich Kay and Irene Kay, Don Attilio D. will give the funeral and the esteemed Mr. Alberto M., who will look after the burial in the cemetery of La Romola, 
Telephone number 6537. The official state civil service. General Galeazzo T. So I wonder if we can actually call all of these phone numbers that we're finding and seeing around everywhere. That raven is making a big fuss. Yeah, it is. The raven. Neat. Maybe it's the same raven that killed that poor sparrow. It probably is. Do I need to follow it? We're going to follow it, I guess. We've never been around the front of the house. Not quite yet. Oh, there's like a whole, whole place down here that we just haven't been. So we still need to find the scissors to cut the cable. What's this over here? It's more of that red cloth. The stuff that we found in the last episode and took a picture of. What is Dress. it? It's made from the same fabric I found a shred of next to the lake. In fact, it is torn. It must be my mother's. My goodness. What? I started to suspect that Mummy could have been involved in Martha's murder. Lost in these thoughts, hours passed, and I completely forgot about the funeral. When I realized it was evening, they were already carrying the coffin towards the cemetery. She never loved me, I knew that well. But I would never have believed that, had it been her. I struggled to believe it, but it made so much sense. At the lake, she must have thought Martha was me because she was convinced that I was dead. So do we think the mom killed her because she didn't like her and just got the got the wrong one? Like, like how could you raise kids and I mean, I get they're twins, but like you're around them so much you should be able to tell them apart. I don't know. I don't know. Especially when it comes to like disliking one and when not the, the other. When the funeral ended, I felt an irresistible urge to play. It's lagging. I loved music. <laughs> I started playing without thinking about the possible consequences. I didn't care anymore. I needed to feel alive, to exist again. Julia? Is that you? No, it's not possible. Martha's never played. She's deaf, yet... No. This is madness. My God. So, Martha? I understand now. You can get all of the attention, right? You were jealous, weren't you? Because she was a wonderful girl and, and you're just a useless little slut. How did you manage to convince her? I get it now. But she... she talked to me. I... I... no. It doesn't make sense. I will have you locked up in an asylum. You hear? That's enough! You will pay for what you've done, you cursed lunatic! They will torture you to reveal the monsters in your head. What a bitch! Her words were as sharp as blades. I tried to tell her that it wasn't me. I showed her the photos I developed that proved my innocence. But she grew all the more angry, calling me crazy, and then... She began to hit me with everything she had at hand. I closed my eyes as more darkness began to take over in me. Memories came flooding back. Not memories of actual past events, but more so of feelings. Feelings I had when I was little. They were scary. They were the fears of a little girl. Despite what had happened, I went walking in the woods early the next morning to meet the lady. The evening before, 
my father had tried desperately to console me. I boo. Talk to me, Yulia. You know I love you. Ow. I just want to understand what happened. I am happy you are alive. Even if we have lost Martha, your mother was just in shock. She didn't want to hurt you. Okay. Seriously doubt that. She's been a bitch to me all this time. Also, we can we can do this again, the uh, the cards, but let's wait till we get down here because I think we might need to use them at the lake itself. But dude, like, so they finally know that we're not who we say we are. There's a grave here. Is this a grave? I wonder if this is her lover's grave. The lady in white. Um, probably not. Okay. Let's just keep going. Um, so we could have made the decision to tell our dad about the plot. There's the helmet. Or about, like, the cable stuff instead of cutting it ourselves, but we've already made that decision. So I didn't know, like, how long we were gonna keep this a secret. But... I don't know. I do not know. Oh, right here's where we were shot. Uh, can we crouch? As revenge, the oppressed people grab the slaughterer by the throat. Adolf Hitler. The Italian Communist Party. Revenge for Lapo. Okay. So, they put that up there for him. All right. But we don't we don't have the stuff that we need. Like we we didn't get the scissors. Of course we didn't really need I don't know if we need the scissors to cut the white lady's hair. Or or what. But I know that we've got nothing that um the nanny outlined for us. Hopefully we don't just get drugged to the underworld immediately, I guess. It's possible. Okay, let's get into the boat. Without all the necessary elements, there's no point traveling to the island. I kind of figured that. Okay. So I do need to find all this stuff before we can do that. I guess we'll go ahead and just do this real quick. Let's pick you this time. Let's see. Wait, right here. Justice. Strength. It's kind of like showing what's happened, like with the sparrow. Judgment. I will succeed in the end. I'm going to enjoy what I deserve. But uncertainty and resistance to change are making my life very difficult. Okay. Well. So, let's look again at what we need. We're lost by putting her into contact with her lover. Look for the grave in the woods. Um, oh, the infrared photos. But I don't really know what to take a photo of. So we need to find the grave, find a lock or get a lock of her hair. We need to find something that connects our worlds. And then the tar tarot cards. Okay, so that's where we need to go. Okay. Um, the lover. Oh, it's, it's marked on the map. Damn it. Of course it's marked on the map. I think that's the grave that we went to before. Like that first one in the last episode that we saw. Or I thought we could. We were possibly going to be mar <laughs> burying Martha. I think it's just right down here. Maybe. What is this place? This never used to be here. Oh, jeez. Yeah, what the hell? Is this where we need to go? No, see, that's that. 
I don't remember that because we walked this path before. What is going on? Can I get in there? No. Interesting. Another entrance, maybe? Is that in the game or is that here? I can't tell. Is it? No, that's outside. <laughs> that sounded like it was starting to storm, but no, that's here. Hmm. Okay. Oh, it's getting really froggy. I don't know what I'm hoping to find, but what else can I do? I will hopefully see if one of these graves is hiding something. I hope that the infrared film will show me. I like how it tells you that you need the infrared there. That makes it a lot easier. We don't like screw stuff up. Okay. So if we do control. Um, infrared film and lens. There we go. It's in focus, but I'm too close. I think we might have to come back here. Yeah. Then, boom. All right. So we got it. So now we need to go, just go back and develop that film then and see what it shows us. Maybe a photo of her lover. Maybe that's how we can get to her and get her to talk to us. Wait. Something right here, too. Let's take a picture of this. There's more, uh... More planes flying overhead. So we got two photos that we can take now. Or... Have, uh... Developed now. Okay. Something's making some weird noises over there. I do not like it. Oh, wait. We do have the scissors. I remember we picked up the scissors before. We should... Damn it. Yeah, we've got them right there. <laughs> I was just thinking, like, you know... Ah, uh, the scissors. That we were going to need to cut the wire. Useful for landscapes. The yellow filter. If it were to snow, it would be perfect. Okay. All right. Okay, let's get these uh, pictures developed. I want to do the one um, from the basement first, I believe. Is there a certain way we've got to develop these? Or is it just the same? I don't know. I assume it's the same, but... Let's develop this one. Um, there we go. Flees what is from this a joke? Maybe someone wrote on the film? Also, what does that even mean? Light, like divine light? Something to do with religion, maybe? Huh. Interesting. Okay. Now for the one that I've been waiting for. Oh boy. There's definitely something here. Yeah. Interesting. So this is going to be probably one of the things that we need that it said in our diary that we're going to need. So we also need to figure out where the, um, the cable is that we need to cut. But. There's the grave I've been searching for, and the spirit of a prisoner. Just like the white lady, he's trapped in this world, but they can no longer meet one another. Evil is separating them. Hmm. All right. So we have that. Okay. 
So let's take a look at our objectives real quick. Wow. So we've read the newspaper. N newspaper. Communications cable. Find the telephone pole. Cut the wire. So I've got the scissors already. So we do need to call everything. Maybe we'll do that in a bit as well. I need an object that connects her world to mine. My personal object. Communication cable. Okay. So let's do the communication cable real quick. All right. We are joining the resistance as of now. Gotta climb up the, uh, the old telephone pole. Try not to fall off and uh, hurt ourselves even more. I mean, we we literally just got shot in the chest too. Like, this is pretty good for somebody who just got shot in the chest. So, a German tank. I have to report its location via the telegraph hidden near the cowshed. Daddy probably asked for a garrison after all that has happened. I should report its location via telegraph. Okay, but. This wire heads towards the house and then keeps going, so it must be the right one. You're gonna get that sh shock daddy a girl? Jeez, crazy. I guess if it's just a telegraph cable, then it's fine. Now all that remains is to go to the telegraph near the barns. The telegraph near the barns, okay. Hmm. Okay. So let's go down to the barn. So that one's been cut. I mean, the tanks didn't see us. I don't even know where that was. It just kind of took over and maybe like off in the distance somewhere, but I didn't, I looked around and I didn't see exactly where they were, but it would make sense that after Martha died and we got shot that, you know, our dad being a German general would be like, yo, need one of you guys down here or some of you guys down here to, to watch out. Okay, so Barnes? Barnes, 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 right down here. Telegraph. Wait, what? Oh no, the fence has been destroyed. Oh no, the cows. At least I got a picture of it before it died. You know. That's okay. That's okay, I guess. It looks like it was slaughtered with a knife. Is someone threatening us? I think so. Not the goats. Go to the best, what? Nazi fascists at the stake. What? Who could have done this? What did these poor creatures have to do with anything? Um... Yeah, that's not good. So I wonder which side that, like, is that... L L was it Lupo? Lapo's friends? The telegraph must be hidden in one of these feed bins. Uh, maybe this one? The first one that we come to? Oh, where did we get the key at? Aha, there we go. Oh, jeez. I have to start every message with the code word. I saw the tank on the road, and the road is near the house. I guess I have to communicate something like that. Um, what did we need to... Dude, I forget. Um, we need to look at, select the words you need to create your message. Okay. Town on fire. Okay. So, town on fire. Tank. Tank near house beside road. I'll add over at the end to make it clear that I have finished. Over? Where's over? There we go. Short press to send dot. Press and hold down briefly to send dash. Wait, I need to, wait, I have to do this myself? Wow, that sucks. So short press, then hold down to send dash. Damn it. I got the length of the sound wrong. I'll try this word again from the beginning. Damn it. This is kind of cool, but <laughs> kind of annoying at the same time. <laughs> is that right? Oh, 
What's it saying? Come on. <laughs> this game's too realistic sometimes. Uh, select the word in order to decrypt the message received. Okay. Do I have to figure this out? <laughs> what? They are asking me to find a map of the defensive line. There is one in my father's study. Okay. So I may or may not have looked that up because I literally could not figure out <laughs> what it was. Anyway. So we need to get the defensive map from from our dad's study and leave it in the building near the river. I looked at that for so long and just could not, my brain just did not put two and two together. I did not really understand what it was trying to tell me, so I kind of had to look it up, but that's okay. That's the, the, if I was just playing the game to play the game, I probably would have sat there for an hour or two figuring it out, but since I'm recording, it takes a little bit longer to do and the editing sucks, so. Is it cheating? Maybe, but you know, that's okay. Okay, so we're gonna get this defensive map, then we're gonna look at the objectives again. Oh no! Why is this door shut? <laughs> Damn it. I've gotta go back around. So I feel like this we've had we've only had a couple different like choose like choices. Like the first one's when we were praying. Um at the casket and then this one here where it's you know between telling our dad and joining the resistance why is the house locked now can i not get in hello why can't i get in that's not good maybe we'll just take a look at our objectives now and see what else we can do here because as of right now, I can't do anything. Okay, so the lover find the correct grave. We found the correct grave though. Do I need to go back to that? I'm gonna look over here real quick and then we're gonna go back to the grave because it looks like we might have, might have missed something. Because we definitely found the right grave, but, oh, hey, what's up? Got another camera thing here. Maybe we got to do this before we can do anything else. Let's see. Use the camera and there we go. Got it. All right. So let's I'm still going to I'm still going to go back to the to the cemetery though because that's definitely I mean unless unless there is the grave Maybe we just didn't get close enough to it to trigger the uh, the objective being completed. Yeah, that, that was it. Oh, there it is. Okay. If I wear this, it should allow me to make contact with her. With this object, she'll have to hear me, I have no doubt. Okay, so yeah, we just missed I'm that. missing the element that connects my world to that of the White Lady. Oh, the lake. Of course. Why didn't I think of it sooner? The dress that I threw in the bushes that cursed day. It's been sitting beside the lake for a few days now, in a world that is both mine and hers. Okay. So I'm going to develop this picture, then we're going to go back down to the lake. That's what's going to happen. Just get this photo in here. Probably going to skip through this just to make it a little bit quicker. There we go. So we're gonna develop this photo. Put it there. And focus, there we go. The crossroad, one path towards life and one towards death. A crossroad, one path towards life and one towards death. More writing, how very strange. The path that leads to death, could that be the actual road that leads to the cemetery? 
Okay. I wonder if that's something that we were supposed to find before. <laughs> but... Or is it something about Martha's death? Anyway. Let's go down to the lake. And find that dress, I guess. So we made it back down here. There's some spot... Where's our dress at? There it is. Okay. Cool. So we found this. Here it is. I hope it works. I also hope that it works. So we have everything that we need. Now that I have everything I need to communicate with the lady, I can finally go to the island. Okay. Let's go to the island. Let us get to the island. Very loud, but it makes sense why it would be so loud. <laughs> this little boat is Nanny's husband, Pride and Joy. He used to take me fishing in it many years ago. I don't understand why Mother never wanted me and Martha to use it. Okay. Okay. How do I... Where do I need to get to? Is there like a dock or something? Yeah, there is. Okay, cool. Boy, that's loud. There we go. Oof. Super loud, but they are typically pretty loud, so. <laughs> okay. So what do we need to do here? This is the tree the lover was hung from, according to the legend. Okay. But what do I need to do? A roll of film. It's the one that I was taking out of the camera just before I discovered Martha's body. It should contain shots from before that moment. With a bit of yes. luck, one of the shots has captured the moment of Martha's murder. I will then finally have an answer. Was it really, Mummy? Yes. I will develop it as soon as I can, but now it's time to speak with the White Lady. I will wear her lover's cross to draw her to me. A lock of my hair to enter into her world. I will use the tarot cards to communicate with her. The first ten will be used like I did with Nanny. Once two cards have been chosen, it should begin. Okay. Just gonna lay out all the cards here. We didn't shuffle them. Hopefully that doesn't doesn't matter. You camouflage yourself in the woods to approach me. 
You blend in with the water to make yourself known. You wish to communicate with me through the energy of symbols. You use my pain to summon me. You are very bold. You call upon me for knowledge that I do not possess. For answers I do not have. I am only a vessel. Like water, like air. A vessel to move and breathe. It worked. Now I need to choose two cards. Here we go. Oh, don't screw this up. This one here. Those are boobies. Great. Demonetized. <laughs> I can sense that you want to know who did it, but I do not have the answer. You must find it yourself. Do not ever try to enter through the front door if you wish to reach the heart. Your twin sister might have the answer you are looking for. Even after death, we leave traces of ourselves, don't we? Everything is indefinite if you look at the essence of things. Okay. So you never get love if you enter the front door, which means you gotta go through the back door. <laughs> the high priestess. Um, let's do this right next to it. The, the hero daughter, vent. the house, the mother. The daughter comes from the mother's house, then makes herself a home and becomes a mother. This cycle is broken. To undo the knot, find the son. He is the original sin reflected on you. The one who gave you the light wishes to take it back. She wants control. Bit by bit, she is crumbling your life. You have to stop her. Mm. Chariot. The tower. You do not have control of yourself. There is a dark figure inside you. The wounds are feeding it. It will do things you do not like. It will use your desires, your guilt, the darkest parts of your conscience. The Hanged Man. The Fool. You will no longer be able to tell light from darkness. In sorrow, the difference is so subtle. You are alone, and you will remain alone. Memories are abandoning you. They are your only true companions. Now they take the place of your happy childhood, and they may return to keep you company. That doesn't sound good. <laughs> More boobies. The moon. Part of our soul embraces the people we love. It is then torn away from us when these people disappear. The wound is deep and it cannot heal. Faith vacillates. Death causes fear. But the church is a safe place. It is home and mother to its children. Faith is the light. Do not lose it. Finding it again is almost impossible. I lost it in sorrow, and without time, I am lost in the dark. 